Boom! What's going on everyone? This is Steve Larson from Secret MLM Hacks Radio. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to leverage the other celebrity entrepreneurs and celebrity MLMers that are out there for your downline's sake. If you're like me, you know MLM is an amazing opportunity to grow a real asset for yourself. But you also see that there's huge issues starting to emerge. Like, why haven't big MLMs let tactics change in over 30 years? Or why have they been cutting commissions smaller and smaller? Or even, how dumb is it that old MLM rules say you'll get in trouble when you use the internet to grow your team? These are some of the blaring questions we all face today. This podcast will show you how real MLMers like us are waging war on the old dying methods. And we aren't cheating by only bugging uninterested family and friends. Follow this podcast while I expose the shocking methods I'm using to build my 10,000 person downline and get people begging to join my team daily. Here's to the new tactics without all those old rusty MLM shackles. My name is Steve Larson and welcome to Secret MLM Hacks Radio. What's up guys? I have a huge stack of books here obviously. I think most of these are MLM books. I grabbed it from the MLM section of my bookshelves. Uh, But uh, anyway, what I want to do is I want to teach you guys, it takes a long time to write a book or create a product that attracts people to you or, right? And that's why a lot of these people will write books and will put their things out and will, right? And and starts uh, building you more of an authority figure. It takes a long time to build those things though. I don't want to spend tons and tons of time creating products, right? And, And sometimes it can be so overwhelming that you end up not doing anything. And, uh, and you literally can halt all of you using the internet for, for online leads and automation. That's a big mistake. And I don't want I want to be able to remove that from you guys today. So anyways, I want you to, uh, it takes a long time to not only build a product, but to build a following, right? A lot of time, money, energy, um, a lot of it, your entire business can be around creating that following if that's what you want to do. So instead, when I, uh, there's two specific strategies that I'm going to teach you guys here um, that show you guys how to leverage what is currently out there uh, to get a lot of eyeballs on you very, very fast. So that's the purpose of this. Let's cut over to a Q&A where I'm teaching it. Okay. I just grabbed a whole bunch of books, okay? Um, Keith and Tom Big Al Schrader, right? Pre-closing for network marketing, okay? Uh, your best year, Mark Yarnell, total rock star. I have I, I have spent like a grand getting just books from people so that I knew who like the influencers were. If I know they're publishing, then they're an influencer, right? Even more than if they're a CEO a lot of times of, of an MLM, right? Mel Robbins, she's not exactly MLM, but she's got those kinds of people. Okay, Recruiting Up by David Ward, uh, right? Girl, Multi-Level Marketing. This is uh, a four, uh, Jay Levinson. Anyway, a bunch of people on this one. Okay, let's say, let's say that I wanted to, right? Writing books is freaking hard. Oh my gosh, it's hard. Okay, but let's say I really am big into, right? Big L Schrader, right? It's Big L, it's classic. He's he's a classic, okay? What's an easy way for me to go capture Big L's people? Use his stuff, okay? Right? Uh, um, Okay, check this out. Super cool strategy, guys. Really easy and can sure I'll cut a whole bunch for you guys. And I, what, what I want you to do is like, just just act, okay? So let me, let's close some close some gaps here. You guys pumped? You guys excited? I'm starting to sweat a little. I'm stoked about this. You ready? <laughs> ah, okay, here we are. <laughs> cool strategy. First, go figure out which person, which big influencer out there has people that you can tell you'd love to have inside your downline or buying your products. Okay, let's say that there's an MLMer out there that absolutely freaking loves um, supplement stuff, right? Like, uh, uh, there's a, right, there's that, um, it? it's Beachbody. Beachbody has a podcast that's number two podcast for MLM and iTunes. It's driving me nuts. I want to knock them out so bad. I want to be number two next. Then I'm going for Simon Chan. Um, he was number one with MLM Nation, okay? Um, okay, check this out. If I know that I want Big Al Schrader's, am I saying his name right? Schrader, Schrader, here, Schrader. Here. Okay, well, anyway, if I want Big Al's audience, one of the easiest things to go do is to call him up. Hey, can I get a hundred copies of your book um, at a discount? Most people will say yes. Most people say yes, right? And so you get you pay them the money. You're gonna get a discount on it, 
and you literally use that book in your free plus shipping book, okay? Now, you drive the ads to people who like the Big Owl Facebook page. Okay, who, who's, that's, they're very likely to buy that, aren't they? Okay, what you've done is you've essentially list hacked Big Al. Okay, and you have taken products, they're really, really cool, and you just delivered them to the audience that he has spent time, money, energy, and parts of his life to develop. And now they're coming over to you and, right, you're getting them in the door with something that they're familiar with. Oh, look, yeah, I've heard of this. I just haven't been able to pick it up yet. Pre-closing. Upsells, though, your stuff, right? Now we're getting into your stuff, right? Upsells, downsells, that's your stuff where you're going to start getting a relationship with you. Okay, that's one really sick way to do it. Another really cool way to do it. Let's say I still want Big Al's people. Okay, contests are incredible. Okay, this is an amazing strategy. Um, in fact, Russell did this once. Um, um, let's say, you know, let's go with Eric Worre. Okay, Eric Worre, that dude has a buttload of books, okay? I mean, that guy, he has tons of books, lots of courses. One of the easiest things to go do, go get some of their most expensive things, okay, on, go get some of their most expensive things and go grab, like, some of their products. Let's say it's worth, like, a grand or two. You're going to make way more than that doing this, okay? Let's say it's a grand or two. And uh, not saying that you need to spend that, but, like, the more expensive it is, right, it doesn't mean you had to pay it, but let's say, like, uh, let's say you got it on, on eBay, right? Go find some of their most expensive things on eBay for 50 bucks, right? But they sold them for several thousand dollars. Then run a contest to that same person's audience. I would go to Eric Worre's audience and every Facebook page that has anything to do with them and I would start a contest, okay? And you could use things like King Sumo, okay? King Sumo, like sumo wrestler, kingsumo.com. That's a great place for um, uh, contests, right? So they get in, they opt in, they opt in, they opt in, okay? And they become traffic that you own they opt in in order to enter the contest, and then they share it with their friends in order to get the unadvertised bonus on the second thing. That creates virality, okay? Boom. Now you've got yourself this sweet little system, okay? okay there, there are people who have collected lists of literally hundreds of thousands of people with that very strategy. How much money did it actually cost them to get that list, though? St I mean, right, statistically on Facebook, if you're gonna run a webinar, you're usually gonna spend three to five bucks per registrant. Three to five dollars for someone to join your list, okay? If you're on Google AdWords, it might be like a dollar, something like that. Sometimes the lists aren't as hot. That's not always true though, but it depends what you're selling, right? How much did it cost you to get, I mean, frankly, you get several thousand people inside of your list and you spend maybe fifty, hundred dollars on a product that is worth a lot, but it's, right, it's worth a lot. It's worth a lot to the audience. Man, you get a ton of people joining a list really quick. What do you, what do, you do next? You just go dump them into your free, uh, so into your paid prospecting funnel, right? Oh, right. You guys know on Amazon after you purchase and they're like, people who bought that also bought this. I love that list. It does half of my shopping for me when I want to go pick something up, right? So I'm like, oh, let's go get a TV. Well, like most of the time people get like a TV mount, you know, right? Does that make sense? Most people bought this TV mount. Sweet. I don't have to look. Done. Does that make sense? You literally can have people come in. Hey, check it out. I got Eric Worre's course, right? I'm bundling all this stuff together. Enter in and you get a chance to win it all for free. They enter in, they share it. Hey, by the way, did you know that I got this sick book over here also? You can get it right now, it's free plus shipping. Or did you know, right? Check it out, I got this bundle of other interviews from all these other experts. It's only $27, right? So you get a whole bunch of people in the list, massive list growing strategy, works fantastically well, okay? Not only do you get a buttload of people on the list, but you also can go and you can dive them straight into paid prospecting funnels and get a whole bunch of cash off the top without you really having to spend like hardly anything, okay? Crazy cool strategy. Works really well when you know who you want in your MLM, when you want who you want to actually be purchasing your products, right? Works, works for anything. Let's say that in, rather than recruiting, you want it for actually products to keep the ketones example going, right? Let's say that you're doing ketones. What else are people in ketones interested in, right? I bet there's a buttload of books that has to do with ketones or there's some gurus that have done some courses, or there's something that has very, find something that's slightly valuable, right? Then go stick it out to the people who like ketones, right? And who's the, who's the guru? Take the guru stuff, give it to that person's audience that they took time to create for you. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, followings. Thank you, right? And you get a whole bunch of those people coming on over, and right, after, right afterwards, there's a viral aspect for the contest, right afterwards, you're pushing them over. Like, hey, 
I don't know, do you want to try this ketone supplement? Right, and it's literally the first thing inside of the supplement funnel. Is this stuff making sense to you guys? I, I hope this is because like, it's, it's usually a massive mental shift that people have to go through if they haven't done anything with funnels before. What I'm trying to help you see and understand is how all of this stuff ties together and it's, it's a liquid, okay? It's very liquid, it's, right? It's, it's, like, it's like adult Legos, okay? You're just taking out blocks, especially if you, if you can use things that have already been built by other people, that's brilliant. It's like the best way to do it, right? It's so powerful to do it that way. I don't like to go film like a hundred hours of stuff all the time, right? I did for the course you're all in. It is really freaking good, okay? But let's say that I'm gonna go and I'm going to, let's say, right, but I sell for slightly more expensive, but let's say you don't wanna do that, that's fine. What content has already been created? Just be an assembler. I was playing dodgeball with tennis balls. <laughs> Any sentence that starts like that is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I was playing dodgeball with tennis balls, okay? And, and we would do this every Monday. And we were hucking these tennis balls at each other. <laughs> and we would tip over tables in this basketball gym. And we we go diving, and that's, that's where our barriers were. And we'd dive from table to table to table to table. And people would get hurt sometimes, like really hurt. <laughs> and we just dump tennis balls over the place and just huck them at each other. And uh, it's like sometimes like 30 people all with tennis balls. I mean, these things are just flying all over the place and smacking people in the face. and the throat, and anyway, it was a bunch of fun. We looked forward to it every week. I was playing, but okay, so I looked forward to that every week. I get there one day. It's totally weird, I know, but we did. <laughs> I get there one day, and I and I show up, and I'm excited, and I'm eager to play. And everyone's just kind of standing around. Everyone's standing around, and everyone's like, man, I, I, I really want to do this. Like, come on, let's go. And I started getting all these people together. I'm like, come on, okay, let's do it. And they like, I don't know why. Everyone was really into the conversations they were having and they're all off on their own. I was like, okay, come on, we're gonna start. Okay, come on, we're gonna start. Hey, we're gonna start it. Come on over here, we're gonna start. Let's switch teams. Let's, let's choose teams. Come on, we're gonna start. Let's start. And, and seriously, for like five, 10 minutes, I started to get frustrated because no one was starting. I go over and this guy's like, hey, what's wrong, man? He said, hey, I was like, no one is playing. Like, let's do this. And I kid you not, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The dude merely just lifts his head and goes, he didn't even raise his voice. He goes, hey guys, we're gonna start. And we're in a big gym. Everyone turned and walked to him at the exact same time. It was almost like it was planned. I mean, this is like a flash mob kind of a thing. I was like, what the heck? How did you do that? And I was mad about it. And I remember, I, I don't know why I remember this so well. But it's the lesson. And I, I remember the lesson right there came to me. And I was like, Huh, rather than me trying to be the guy to pull everyone together on that audience, I just need to learn how to be an aggregator, right? I'm just the maestro. I don't need to know how to play every instrument in the orchestra, right? I'm just, a, I'm just, I'm literally a chorister, guys. Someone is a better bass, someone's a better, right? Someone's a better uh, um, a tenor, someone's a better, right? Someone's a better soprano and alto, right? That's great. All I have to do is be the person that organizes it. And there are millions to be made to those who understand that skill. Stop trying to create everything yourself, especially if you're making front end things. Man, just think about the speed, speed of it, and just get it done, okay? And, and get, like understand like that, that's, it's, it's, it's actually really fun to do it this way because when somebody takes the time to go through, maybe they came through a contest or some kind of paid prospecting thing or they spent time going through something you've been publishing frequently and you've created a little bit of an audience, Guys, they are so much more fun inside of your downlines. They are so much more, they're such better buyers. They know you. It's not a convincing game anymore when you're like, look at this feature and buy this one because of feature, 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 feature. You skip all that crap, all that garbage, and you go straight to a relationship-based thing. Hey, look, I, I like it. Cool, me too now. <laughs> you're like, wow, right? And it's because of the way, it's the pre-frame, right, that, that comes in. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Hey, remember to leave feedback for me on iTunes. Part of today's challenge in MLM is knowing how to teach your downline all of this stuff, right? Would you like me to help you teach your own downline? Five simple recruiting tips for free? If so, go download the free MLM Masters Pack by subscribing to this podcast at secretmlmhacksradio.com. The course is free and it'll help explain to your team what I'm doing and what you're learning. 
It also gets sent straight to your inbox. Just go download it at secretmlmhacksradio.com.